In this video, I'll show you how to set up the ActiveCampaign Calendly integration so you can get new leads into your sales CRM in ActiveCampaign from booked calls. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for your base businesses. Let's check it out. So before we get started with the integration itself, I'm just quickly going to cover Zapier, uh, which you'll need to set up this integration. So Zapier is a third party uh, software that will allow you to connect all of your different apps, sync data in two directions, set up actions and events for contacts in AC with other platforms. And uh, this is how you're going to essentially make sure that your different apps can talk to one another and pass data back and forth. So if you haven't, you can go to zapier.com and set up an account there. And then once you've done that, we're first going to set up the integration with Calendly uh, that's directly inside apps in our Active Campaign account. So in the bottom left, go to apps, and then you'll see it here typically in popular apps. If not, just search it in the top right. So we will click Calendly. And then from here, you can see we have multiple events set up. And setting up this integration will allow you to have personal, easy to schedule touch points where you can add contacts to lists uh, or segments based on the info they provided in the Calendly form. You can automate sales management, adding them into a pipeline and update their stages whenever they book, change or cancel their meetings. Qualify leads faster by filling your calendar with appointments. Uh, and use information from their Calendly forms in custom fields in ActiveCampaign. By mapping uh, custom questions from the Calendly form into custom fields, uh, there's a ton of help docs around this. And if you first go to add an account in the top right, you'll be able to go through the prompts. It'll ask you to uh, connect the account, select a specific event, review the objects that you want to pass, and then map any of the data uh, that is shared by the contact when they book their call. Okay, we already have ours set up here by Benji. So we can click add a new resource once that's connected. And when you select that, you're going to be able to select the event, the objects, and then map the additional fields. So I can show you here the event, creator update contacts from Calendly. The objects are going to be contact and event. I'll show you what this creates inside a specific contact and why we use this part here before we get into our Zapier connection. And it will always add the uh, Calendly integration tag that you see at the top. And then the tag at the bottom is specific to the event that the person registered for. So if I go into our Calendly account, we've got Benji one-on-one, -on -one, Wildmail onboarding, Wildmail success, Wildmail demo, all of that you can see here in the tags, partners, partners, demo, Wildmetrics research, they all match up with our different events. So when we set those up, this is going to allow you to use these triggers here for automation, and these won't be available unless you have the Calendly integration set up directly uh, inside Active Campaign, like I just showed you. And then from there, you can select a trigger. So the trigger that I chose for this one is that a new Calendly event was created, and you can segment. And then these conditions will be available to uh, only because you've got you know Calendly directly in, uh, integrated with Active Campaign, so you can use these different fields to segment the events that are triggering this automation. So it's not all of your events, for example, and it'll also give you the ability to use additional personalization tags from the custom objects, basically the data that you're getting from each uh, Calendly event. So if I click in here and go to personalize. Over here, you've got your standard personalization tags, but if I scroll down to custom objects, now I can pull in data from the Calendly event specifically, and you'll get all of this information here that you can use directly in your uh, emails that you send out to the person who uh, booked a call. And then inside the contact accounts themselves, I'll go into my demo account here. When you scroll down, this is the custom object that it creates, uh, the full panel that it creates for the contact Calendly event details. So this is for each booking. It'll show the event type, date and time, location, details, and the status. And this will update automatically whenever the contact updates their booking in Calendly. If they you know, change the date, if they cancel, etc., that will reflect directly here inside the custom object inside of their ActiveCampaign uh, contact. So once you have that set up, you can actually automate 
Uh, the majority of things directly with that integration, but we like to use Zapier because we have other apps included. So going back to our setup here, we're now gonna walk through uh, our Zap that we use to uh, create or update a new contact in Active Campaign and then send a channel message in Slack to our uh, team so that we know we have someone who has booked a call and to follow up with them. So the very first trigger step is going to be the invitee created in Calendly, and I'll click into that and show you here. You're gonna choose the app, which we've already chosen, the event, which is invitee created. Other events include invitee canceled. If you want to trigger automations whenever someone cancels uh, their booked call, but we're going to do this whenever it's created and hit continue. We've got our account connected. Uh, if you need to, just click in and connect a new account. It'll walk you through the prompts to do that and hit continue. And you can see here we already found an, uh, an invite team. And this is all the information, all the data that it pulls in. So we'll hit continue. Now, here is a very important step uh, that you want to pay attention to. We've got only continue if. This is a filter by Zapier. So this is the over here filter. And we're choosing that because we want to select only continue if, and we'll have all these different options from Calendly, the, uh, the data points. We want to choose event type slug, text contains, WM demo. So this is allowing us to set these conditions so that this trigger only runs the rest of the zap for our wild mail demo calls. So going back into Calendly, if I go to wild mail demo, and go to what event is this? This here is the slug that it's looking for. It's at the very end of your uh, URL for the, the call booking, and it's gonna be the custom part that you've updated yourself. And if it contains that, it will run the rest of the zap. You can see, I'll hit continue, and it will let you know if the last uh, bit of data that it pulled in would have continued the zap or not. This says your zap would not have continued and the reason is the event type slug was WMX demo. So this was a demo for wild metrics, not for wild mail. And so it won't fire the rest of the zap. And that's perfect because we have steps below this that are specific to uh, a wild mail demo call. So for example, in our next step, step three is the action create or update contact in active campaign. We're choosing the creator update contact event. If you need to, uh, connect your account. Just click here and go to connect. It'll ask for your API key. Both of those are going to be found in settings. And then open the nav bar and go to developer. Not going to go to that page because that's private information. You never want to share that with anyone, but that's where you'll find it. And then you can just paste it in to connect your account. So I'll go to set up action. We're adding them to our main list. We've got their email address. And you can see here, we're just pulling that data from the uh, Calendly mo uh, module further up in the Zap. So we can pull all of that data every time someone books a call and then add it here so that it syncs with Active Campaign. So we've got the uh, email, first name, last name, and then we're going to add this tag to their contact event scheduled wild mail demo. We can pass any of their responses. Uh, if we have a form when they book a call, we can pass that information into custom fields and then hit continue. And you can see this has already run. And then in our final action step, we use Slack to communicate internally, uh, our team, you know, to stay all on the same page. So uh, in this case, we're going to send a channel message so everyone can see that a new call has been booked uh, and we're choosing Slack. We're choosing the send channel message event, our account. If you don't have yours already connected, you can do that here and go through the prompts uh, and then setting up the action. So we're sending it into our sales channel. You'll be able to select all of your different channels by clicking in under channel. And then this here, we've created ourselves lead and we're adding in the name. You'll see here, it says insert data. You'll be able to select anything from Calendly, from Active Campaign. Uh, obviously we're using Calendly in this case to grab their data from the booked call. So we're gonna grab their full name, uh, their email, and then the uh, event time shown in the, the pretty format, uh, not the more technical format. So that appears for us to see easily inside Slack. And we have uh, our English and Spanish team. So this just notifies, you know, the, the correct team members. Um, when we look in this, when we look into this at a glance, we can see if it's, you know, a, a call for the English side or for Spanish. And just to show you what that looks like, you can see here, 
all of the different calls that are coming in. We'll send it as a bot. The bot name will be wildmail demo scheduled. So again, you can see the name of the bot at the top. We don't want to link to the zap. The bot icon is the clinking glasses. So like cheers, every time a new lead comes in, shows up next to the bot name. You can customize that for your own business. And then we hit continue. And this is how it lets us know that uh, a send channel message was sent. We're all good. We're all connected. And so that is the full zap that we use uh, every time someone books a call. If we wanted to, back inside Active Campaign in our deals pipeline, you'll see we only have two uh, stages. We have conversation and call completed. Right now, our team is able to handle this manually. Uh, and we want to be on top of each deal right now. So we're really paying attention to this uh, manually on a, on a deal by deal basis. But if we had, let's say, too many um, leads, we were overwhelmed, uh, we have other things going on, we could automate, we could add additional stages. So for example, conversation, we could add another stage uh, like call booked and add it between conversation and call completed. So we would have conversation, call booked, call completed. You may have something like this in your own business. And then in automations, whether you choose to set it up like this with the Calendly event trigger, or what we could do is I could delete this. And remember back in step three for active campaign, we're adding a tag. So when I go to set up action, we're adding event scheduled wild mail demo. So I'll remove this. And instead for our trigger, we could select tag is added. Go ahead, grab that tag back in Zapier, set it to run multiple times, hit add start. And then from here, we can go to our CRM and we can update a stage of a deal assigned to this contact. So we're in the wild mail pipeline. Instead of conversation, we would select call booked, right? If we added that additional stage between conversation and call completed, we would have conversation, which is when we've just done our outreach and, and uh, spoken with them. Then we would have, uh, you know, a call is actually booked and then call completed. We would be able to update that automatically right here in the wild mail pipeline and hit save. Okay. And then anytime someone uh, had this tag added, we would be able to update the stage automatically in their deal pipeline. Uh, we could, you know, add an account note for them that they booked. We can add a task to follow up. We could adjust their deal score uh, because now they've booked a call. So, you know, that's uh, additional engagement with our brand. All of this is possible to be automated. Uh, so really taking the, the weight off of our sales team um, for having to update uh, deals manually, keep the pipeline organized uh, and basically keep everyone aligned on the team in terms of where our different leads are, uh, which stage in our pipeline they're currently at. So. That is the Calendly integration. If you have any questions uh, about this, just drop them in the comments below and we'd be happy to help you out.